last night, well, actually, by the time y'all see this video, it'll be a couple days later. I took a screenshot of an article that was sent to me and I posted it up on my community tab and I left a caption that said Cali takes the most liberal state in America title to heart. Now, California has been known to approve a lot of different things that would be seen as out of the norm. I could go down the laundry list of things. I think I've talked about just about all of them. Now, here's another one that they tacked on. You see right here, it says California okays health benefits to immigrants who are in the country illegally. This is an actual article. This is not a doctored image or Photoshop or anything like that. This is actually happening right now. They are literally giving benefits to people who are not documented, to, not documented to be here. They're here illegally and they're giving them human rights. I'm not human rights, American um, benefits as if they were born here. But those of us who were born here have to fight and struggle just to get the basic necessities. And I know why they're doing it. And I know who's doing it. They're do it's, it's politics. It's, you know, it's a political uh, climate right now. They're doing it because they need the votes because they know they can't get it from others. So they say, hey, let's get it from these people and we get them something. Then we'll give them these benefits. Now, how long those benefits are going to actually last for them? Th that's another topic because they can dry those things up once those uh, those Democrats get what they want, because that's who's doing it. We know the Republicans ain't going to do it. That's one benefit I can actually give them. If, like I said, if there's one thing I can give 45 credit on. It's the fact that he's trying to get the illegal undocumented immigrants out of here because of stuff like this. That's why it kills me when I see black people championing or rallying behind this immigration thing. I said, do you see what's about to happen? They're taking your rights away. Like you have people out there on skid row. Military veterans, people who fought for this establishment, homeless. They can't even get VA loans. They can't even get any type of benefits, but they'll let those who aren't from here come in here illegally and they can get all of that. Now, this is actually an updated more so article because it was another one that came out when I was looking to find the article to read from that stated like a month or so ago, they already had kicked this into action, but it was more so for people of a certain age. Now they have accelerated it to the point where it's for all of them no matter what the age no matter the gender whatever it's for all of them that's why it killed me last year when that uh camilla cabello chick got on that stage at the grammys and said that dreamers built america no the hell they didn't they have literally now become the invader and now they're literally snatching up everything that should have been for us now you know it's amazing they find money and everything like that for them but when it comes to ADO was talking about reparations and tangibles they have every excuse in the book that you can possibly find all the way down to the lint of why we can't get it or why we're not deserving of it but they can create stuff for this and all I'm saying is this any tangibles or reparations we're supposed to be getting they could possibly be live literally giving that to them piece by piece as we speak but they'll have a million and one reasons why we shouldn't get it. And I do mean a million and one. Now I'm going to go ahead and read from this article. It says California has become the first state to offer taxpayer funded health benefits to young adults living in the country illegally. That right there, that one statement right there should scare the hell out of many people, out of everybody who was born here. It will, it would it should definitely scare those who live in California, most definitely, because this is where it's starting at starting out at. And like I said, usually they you start off with one state and then it'll catapult to another state, but it's up to those other states to reject it because this is more of a state issue, not a uh not a federal one. Democratic Governor Gavin Newsom signed a bill into law Tuesday that makes low income adults age 25 and younger eligible for the state's Medicaid program, regardless of their immigration status. Now, do you know the hoops and hurdles that black not on um, not Well, not just even um, black people, but anyone who was born here has to go through to get med, uh, medical benefits. 
Meanwhile, they're here illegally and they got them like that. State officials expect the plan to cover about 90,000 people and cost taxpayers, get this, $98 million. So if you see a hike in the taxes that you got to pay, is it going to be because of this? Well, one of the reasons, but this is probably one of the biggest ones right here. California already covers children ages 18 and younger, regardless of immigration status. So they were already doing this, but now it's expanded. Newsom and Democratic legislative leaders say they plan to further expand coverage to more adults in the years to come. Republican President Donald Trump has called the move crazy. As crazy as 45 is, I have to agree with them. That is a very crazy move. It's a wild move, and it makes you wonder, were you both high and drunk when you made this decision? But like I said, we know why they're doing it. They need the votes because they're trying to get 45 up out of there. If this if that wasn't the case, they wouldn't be doing all of this. I'm I'm sure. I don't think their heart is that big enough to make a very bold move like this. All I'm saying is this. If y'all were really smart, many y'all would probably just pack up and leave and go and, and maybe go to another state because like I said, this is a statewide thing. It's not a city thing. It's not a county thing. It's a statewide thing. We know California is one of the biggest states in the establishment. It practically takes up the entire far west coast with the exception of Oregon and Washington. Advocates of the measure say it's a way to improve the health of immigrants in the state by providing them with access to medical care they need and they need the votes. They're not going to say that because that will be giving away their strategy. Many immigrants who are in the country illegally are already enrolled for some government funded programs, but they only cover emergencies and pregnancies. Democrats have pushed to expand the coverage to even more adults, but Newsom rejected the proposal, saying it will cost about three point four billion dollars to provide coverage to all California adults living in the country illegally. But he has vowed to keep expanding coverage in future years. Someone had left a comment. One of my subscribers left a comment under the post that I under this post and said they might as well just rename California Mexico. And I said, you know what? With all these earthquakes going on, California is either going to e either become a part of Mexico or it's going to become an island. I wonder why them earthquakes is happening right now because they're trying to break this shit up. Like that is some that is wild. I if I was a California resident, I would be pissed. I would be mad as all hell. I would be raising hell first and foremost. And the thing is, it's locked in stone. So they, there's really nothing they can do about it until hopefully they get some the person out of there who put this into motion and reverse it. But now that they've made it where, you know, they've given them the benefit, they're not going to do that so soon. And they're going to do and the, the, the legal people that are there are going to do their best to try to keep that person who put this policy into place in their position. But like I said, this is all politics. This is all a political stunt right here because they're trying to get 45 about it. This is exactly why we don't need a Democrat in office right now, because look at what they're doing. And, and what is mo most of those candidates running off of right now? Many of them are rough, running off of the same thing that this person is doing right here. You let a. Uh, in at this time, a Democratic person get into office, this thing could be on a federal level, and then they'll require every state to do it, and then we will be royally fucked. For real. And they'll still tell us that we don't deserve reparations at the same time. I see this exactly for what it is. It's all a political ploy. Like I said, if this wasn't an election year, you know, or a cycle, this would not be a, a heavy topic of discussion. It, you might hear whispers of it here and there, but they literally know that they're running out of time and they got to do whatever they can to get these votes. And they know they're getting it from them because a lot of these illegal immigrants are either fleeing to Texas or they're coming to, they're going to California for the most part between those two, because Texas is right there on the border and California, depending on what direction you go in is damn near touching that border. Well, actually it is because you can catch the border from California as well. But yeah, this doesn't surprise me in the least bit, but to the, to my California residents, those who are subscribed to me, I don't know what to tell you. I really don't like this is like it's messed up in more ways than one because they're getting the stuff that we're supposed to be getting. You know, like, you know, they we have literally always gotten the short end of the stick. A lot of the stuff that especially ADOS people should have gotten. Everyone else has gotten.
Affirmative action. That went to white women. Now, before you know it, this, what we're supposed to be getting is going to go to them. This thing is going to drain, damn near drain some more of the economy, and then we're going to have nothing left. That's why I do give Canada uh, kudos for one thing. They got free health care. And that's one thing that I said the U.S. should have been adopted is free health care. Because that's something, you know, that's a, that's a basic human need. I think that anything that is a basic human need should be uh, readily available to everyone as long as they are an American born citizen. Now, if they are an immigrant and they came over here and they got their papers and they're here legally, that's one thing. But to do this for all of them, regardless of the status, and there's more here illegally than not, that's a drain on the economy. But they want to talk about us getting our reparations will break the economy. I be seeing those comments. Oh, they don't deserve reparations because they're they don't know one slave, and I don't know one slave owner. They, that's their go-to thing. Well, I want to know what they got to say about this because this is actually happening right now. Y'all, let me know what y'all think about this down in the comments. I'll talk to you in the next one. Like, share, subscribe.